Mr. Fender Road, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today I wanted to take you on a short tour to the interiors of my Fender Roads, but actually it will happen, so that's why uh, you see me in a pretty unusual position here. Um, but yesterday I had a concert and um, I, I, um, I noticed that one key got stuck sometimes and it happened what I and not wanted to happen and that's why we go a little deeper probably uh, today in the deconstruction of the fender rods um, one thing got broke got, um, one thing broke and um, luckily I have one more hammer um, here from last time I repair, uh, repaired something it's not the right hammer but probably it's better than no hammer at all so, if, as you can see, it's um, it's a real mechanical instrument. You have this beautiful um, beautiful tines here. I hope you can see um, where um, where you have the one part uh, this uh, that is on um, in the on top, and the lower part we will see later. Or in a, in a second, uh, this is on the bottom. The, the bottom part gets struck by the hammer when I move the when I touch the key, and the lower part gets struck, and the upper part it's like um, like a fork, like a tuning fork, but it has a lot of um, mass here, and that's why it keeps the tone for a long time because if it uh, is only the lower part. It would have uh, would fade much. Oh, I see. There's something. Yeah, you always you always discover something if you open it. <laughs> so it's a real it's a real uh, instrument. Um, yeah, the the uh, upper part keeps through the mass and the um, uh, the tone um, for a longer time. So. Yeah, if I I also have the pedal here, I want to do with you one metal uh, bar here, and this is the the pedal, actually the whole thing. Yeah, and it works. Yeah, as you can imagine, pretty easy. Then you put it here, and there's a hole under the instrument. Yeah, this should work. Actually, we can't see this in action because um, it's very deep inside the the instrument. But as you as you um, think, it will hold the tone, hold the notes. So if I play something and hold it with the pedal, oh, you can see. Um, yeah, yeah. If I play some some notes and then hold it with the pedal, they still stay there. It's like a real piano. This is what I do with my with my, with my foot when I play. So, and then you have the other, the upper part. Um, yeah, I can take this um, up. Actually, I unscrewed um, four screws, and actually I don't know where they are, so it's all the time loose. And I see they are kind of. They need some maintenance, so I will do that after, afterwards. Hopefully, it will stay there. Yes. So now you can see more of the action. So you don't hear it a note because it's up there. Actually, when I take the the hammer and strike one time, it will sound. to dampen it with by hand because the damper is here and yeah, you can see if I play one key it actually moves the damper um, downwards so the time is free to to um, to give a note oh yeah and then if I take the finger off the key the damper goes to the time again and dampens it so this is how it works and actually it's pretty easy it's nothing complicated 
The thing is, because it's an old instrument, what I experienced yesterday, I uh, often played the, the A key and so it's actually broke. You can see it, it uh, is a little loose because only one side broke. So I take just a simple sharp knife and pull the side to the side and then can lose the key and then this this connection to the damper I have to lose it also yeah. and then I have it and I hope you can see this one is broke broken yeah unfortunately because you can't repair it actually you need a new one and this is pretty expensive so this one is intact and this side is, bro is broken. So the hammer, uh, the the um, the gum looks really good. No rubber, the rubber looks really good. So I'll I'll keep this and probably take the rubber off and can use it somewhere else. You can see here the rubber is really stressed out. Also here, oh my god, I probably often use this key. Ah, it's a C, yes. You can hear it in the recordings. <laughs> I really use it often. So, I have this one, but the problem is it is different. As you can see, it has a different um, thing here. Not rubber, but only uh, also with uh, wood. So if you can see, it, it's not only rubber, it's also wood. So this is, intent this is intended for the higher keys. So it starts here. What I thought was I think I take this one out, the first one with rubber only, because then I put there the other one with the uh, wood inside and as you can see here, this one is intact. Um, and yeah, I'll take it here. Yeah, it looks good, it looks really good. So I take the this one with the broken thing and this new one maybe I put this before and it at least works so I wanted to show you I can actually my my uh, favorite key my favorite key, uh, note is the lower E it sounds so good Actually, I have to tune it. Yeah. The thing is, um, you have those little um, springs here, and the um, on the tines, and there um, you can, when you move them, this um, in this case downward. Um, the the note gets lower because it's getting um, heavier, kind of. And if you put it uh, this way, put it up, um, then the note gets higher. I can demonstrate it because the the note was wrong either, so it was a little out of tune. So if I put it more up, you can hear this the same time. And I put it down. So now I Okay, this is an E also. I should put marks there. This is an E and this
so I make it totally by ear. Oh, quite a, quite a bit. So we're getting closer. I think this is good enough. Yeah, you have the tines here, and what I didn't mention is um, the whole instrument is not powered with electricity, but uses electricity. Um, you have these coils here, it's actually working like a guitar. You have the, the tines, and every tine is picked up, the tone is picked up by a coil, and then send it to that, to this uh, little plug there. Maybe you see better this way. Yes. Right. And then here is kind of collected and then um, sent here. And you have here a volume. Oh, you can't see it. You have here um, a volume. And then I'll take the other perspective. Yeah. You have here a volume knob. Um, that is probably only, um, yeah, this is all passive and a bass boost or bass cut kind of, and then the output here. So this is working um, um, actually like a guitar and every single, um, every single um, tine has its own coil. So, yeah, now, oh yeah, sounds different still. a little tweak I think this is it so thanks for watching thanks for um, being successful with me uh, repairing the fender roads I would encourage you to like my page and head over to my youtube channel there's more to find um, beside my weekly jam where I take uh, different styles and different grooves every week and jam to it for a few minutes I have more insights in playing the fender roads and my setup and yes um, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.